We have learned that five superstrings are five fruits in Buddhism. Superstring is not quite an appropriate name for them, as they are really effect, outcome, solution, or arisen phenomena, as the results of two types of strings. Strings are like seeds in Yogacara Buddhism, which mean causes, where there are only two types of strings, type 2 and type 1. String theorists are not clear about causes and effects. Using the terms of Yogacara Buddhism, five superstrings are five fruits, arising from conditioned seeds, which are type 2 strings, and unconditioned seeds, which are type 1 strings. The two heterotic strings, E8 times E8 and SO32, are also type 2 strings, but only because when they left moving, they resemble bosonic strings with 22 extra dimensions, which in the terms of Yogacara Buddhism, they have stronger superior conditions, as seen in their corresponding fruits, superior and ripen divergently, where there are 22 indriyas only. In Yogacara Buddhism, there are four conditioned fruits with one unconditioned fruit. That is why there are four type 2 superstrings and one type 1 superstring. Theory, as described by Yogacara Buddhism, is a metaverse-like reality. All our cognitive abilities and our consciousness are not in the three-dimensional space. It is important to note that the objects of cognition are also not in the three-dimensional space. To Yogacara Buddhism, those objects seem to exist, but they don't exist. For example, our ability to see is not with our eye organs, which is only an illusion, as explained in the mind-body theory episode. Our ability to see is when a seed is activated, it kicks start eye consciousness, which splits into a visual function of eye and image function of eye. The visual function of eye then interacts with the image function of eye. All these happen outside of three-dimensional space-time, including the objects or matter or physics. Basically, for physicist Anne, whatever she studies or sees in experimental data are objects of consciousness. Physics is also an object of mind and of consciousness. This is what string theory has shown us. Everything is in extra dimensions and superspaces where space-time is emergent. That is why David Gross said, we don't live in ordinary space-time but in superspace. String theorists and physicists are very intelligent people, but very few have the wisdom of Gross. Objects in three-dimensional space not only do not exist, it is impossible to exist. As in the case of a metaverse, there is no way the metaverse computer can interact with the apple through the red line. The metaverse can only interact with the apple through the green lines which are in the storage spaces, which are in bits and bytes. Similarly, everything in string theory happens in brains and open strings on brains, with M-theory as an anchor like a computer. As in Yogacara Buddhism, it is visual functions and image functions, with eighth consciousness acting like the heart or center of all conscious activities. Retired physicist and cosmologist Bernard Carr said he thinks consciousness is in brain and higher dimensions have to do with consciousness. The previous diagram shows there are six visual functions and six image functions for six consciousness, or what are called first six consciousness. However, there are a total of eight consciousness in Yogacara Buddhism, where each of the eight has a pair of visual function and corresponding image function. In string theory, with the extra dimensions of M theory's 11th dimension and F theory's 12th dimension, there are a total of eight extra dimensions after minusing four space-time dimensions. In a simplified manner, the diagram shows the various dependencies among eighth consciousness, seventh consciousness, fruit of same order, and fruit of functions. Note that the last two are strongly related but yet different. These dependencies are why there exist heaps of dualities among various conjectures in string theory, namely M-theory, F-theory, type 2b, and type 2a. One of the biggest puzzles in neuroscience today is the highly overlapping and highly structured functions that have been observed in our brains. The dependencies, as described by Yogacara Buddhism, supported by the mathematics of string theory, is key to solving this puzzle. We shall see in later episodes how the reptilian complex is related to seventh consciousness and F-theory, which is always inward-looking, and how limbic system and neocortex are related to fruit of same order and fruit of functions respectively. This is how theory, mathematics, and observations can all come together.